Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Puck Beauty Oz. I'm Lulu and today I'm just going to talk to you about my hair. I've literally tried to film this video like three or four times now. First time, I don't think I covered important points so I just rambled. And the last time it was supposed to be with my cut crease look which I posted. I'll just put it up here for you guys to check it out. Um, but I kind of just started to rant about questions that get annoying that uh, people ask. Just one thing I would like to say is like, please just respect, like, respect, like, respect, like, whole space. I know that I'm not the only person who struggles with it. Lots of people of color and lots of people who get their hair braided. We don't necessarily like having you guys come up to us and like just touching their hair. It's okay if you ask and if we say it's fine then it's fine but don't just come and like start grabbing it because it's attached and it's a bit strange especially if we don't know you like if you're a stranger and stuff obviously like friends it's a bit different but if you're just a stranger on the street please just like at least ask before you come and start touching it. We love compliments like girls love compliments no matter who you are and what you look like everyone loves a compliment so yeah. Anyways, back to the video. I've had this hair for like about six, no, not six weeks. Was I thinking six weeks? I don't know. I've had it for about three to four weeks. I think it's like at the three and a half ma mark. I got them. I got it done in Newcastle. I was visiting my parents there, and I usually get my hair done there just because I find it's a bit cheaper over there than here in Adelaide. I think. I guess it's just because I have family friends who can operate from at home. It also helps that usually my parents help pay for it too, so what can I say? Um, this cost me about $250. Um, it's mostly extensions. You can see my real hair popping through. It's the dark bits. I probably won't keep this in too much longer just because my hair really is like, it's growing out quite faster than I thought it would. I'll put some pictures somewhere maybe I'll like slide them across um, of the way my hair looked when I first got it done but yeah so this is about three and a half weeks old so you can see my hair has outgrown uh, regrown a bit so this used about four or five packets of extensions I had three different types of extensions I believe I had a pink to purple ombre which is mostly in the front as you can see it's quite long I won't stand up to show you but it's quite long it's past my waist um, I've got blonde in it just to bulk it up I didn't have enough packets of just the pink to purple so I've got like a yellowy blonde in there as well I don't know if you can really see and I have a blue to pink to purple ombre in the back you can see the blue at the back there and this one's mixed in with white so altogether that's four different types of extensions and I think altogether it was like five or six packets which I'm so glad lasted because I was a bit worried it wouldn't finish and I'm like oh no what am I gonna do um I love getting braids mostly just because it's really convenient like for all you girls out there who are natural, like black girls and stuff with natural hair, you know that washing hair is such a mission. You, like, you literally have to clear out your evening schedule just to wash your hair. And it's not like washing and then you just blow dry and then you go to bed. You have like all your deep conditioning, your pre-wash, your after-wash treatments and all that. So you literally can start at like 6 p.m. and finish at like midnight and it's just <laughs> it's a lot and even just combing and styling sometimes it just gets a bit much so usually in summer and when uni is really busy I like to get my hair braided because you can just wake up and go or you just tie it up and go and it's called a protective style so it actually protects your natural hair as well from like some of the elements so in summer I swim a lot because I love swimming and it's hot like um, here in Australia it gets up to like 45 sometimes 45 degrees Celsius which is really really hot I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit guys sorry but maybe I'll put like the Fahrenheit thing down here I don't know we'll see but yeah 
so you need to like swim to cool down and also air conditioning is also really bad for your hair it sucks the moisture out of it and our hair doesn't necessarily retain moisture very well some types do but mine specifically doesn't so it also helps like just keeping in the moisture protecting it from external factors and yeah so it actually helps my hair to grow it encourages growth because our hair also doesn't like being comb through a lot it breaks very easily if you're brushing and combing every day so yeah well, the colors i just get inspiration from i guess my instagram there's this girl i forgot her name i'll probably link it at the bottom she had like this really cute pink um bob and i thought it looked amazing because she's like around my skin tone i think she might be a bit lighter but i thought it looked really good and i decided to get it in braids because First of all, wigs are like super expensive and if you color it wrong, you've just like wasted a whole bunch of money. And I like long hair on myself, so it has to be a long wig, sorry. And two, I can't color my hair. I'm way too scared. I, wake, I work way too hard to maintain it and encourage it to grow that. Coloring it and risking it like dying because you'd have to bleach it and then color it. I just couldn't do it and yeah so I feel like braids are the perfect compromise because you can get whatever color you want it, it doesn't damage your hair it actually protects your hair and it's temporary you know it's nothing there's very low risk I guess the only risk is if you pull one out which I have unfortunately <laughs> and it pulled out my real hair I don't know where exactly it came from but somewhere around them so That'll be interesting when I take it out. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Comment some hair ideas, some hair colors you'd like to see me try. I have done the um, black to gray ombre before, which I really, really like. That was the last hairstyle I had. I'll probably put some pictures over here. My profile picture, actually, is from that time. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to be doing my Mina slash Melbourne makeup shopping spree haul. I'll um, put that video up soon. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. My personal one is lulut95. My channel one is Pop Beauty Oz. And let me know what you'd like to see. Um, let me know how you like this look. Was it something I was kind of experimenting with? I decided to go blue eyes today because why not? I love wearing contacts and stuff and changing up the way I look and stuff sometimes. But I feel like I don't look too different. I don't know. You let me know. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.